Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to create a featured blog post slider. This method works in Squarespace 7.1 and 7.0 and you can use it anywhere around your site and it's really easy to filter the posts you want from your blog. So let's dive in. Okay, I'm in Squarespace 7.0 right now and I'm going to add a featured post slider. So this will work in 7.0 and 7.1 and essentially you can add this on any page where you can add blocks or any section where you can add blocks. So what you're working on might look a little bit different than the page structure I'm working with, but just know that if you can add a block, then you can add this featured post slider. And this one is really quick and easy. So I'm gonna click edit on my page. And I'm gonna add my featured post slider right here underneath these blocks. So I'm either gonna click add block or on Squarespace 7.0, I'm gonna click the plus icon and we're going to add a summary block. So this summary block is going to be our featured post slider. And what we wanna do is work through these settings. So first click select a page and the summary block can actually link to a lot of things, but in this case, we wanna link it to a blog. So I'm gonna click here on this blog post archive. So look for the little blog symbol. It should be pretty clear you know what your blog name is. So select the blog that you wanna pull from. I'm gonna click back. And now we can play around with our content and design settings. So the primary metadata, we can either turn this on, we can either turn this off, or we can choose from any of these options. So you can choose your date posted, which is gonna show the date the blog was posted, blog categories, tags, the blog author, location, or comments. So lots to choose from here. Generally, I just turn this off. And then you have the option for a secondary metadata too. So the same options. Basically, you can have two choices right there. Here's where we're gonna filter the items. So this is where we're going to filter which posts we want to feature. And I'm gonna show you soon how to actually go into the blog and choose which ones to feature. But we can either choose categories, tags, which I've got none set up at the moment, but I will show you how to do that or we can choose the featured posts. So all of these things, we need to either set up categories, tags, or featured posts specifically. I'm going to just choose featured for now, and I'll show you now how I'm going to go and choose which blog posts I want to feature specifically. And we can also do categories, which I've also set up a couple categories, and you can select multiple categories, but let's just keep it easy for now and do featured. So once I toggle that on, Nothing is showing and that's because I currently have no posts set to featured. So let's just click out of our block, click save, and I'm gonna head on over to the blog. Again, if you're in Squarespace 7.1, it's gonna look a little bit different than this or if you're using a different 7.0 template, but generally the blog process is very similar. So you should be able to follow the instructions okay. So here I have all my posts and I'm going to click edit on the post and that's gonna open up the settings. I've just got my blog open on Squarespace 7.12, so I can just show you the main differences. So if I open up the three dots, click settings, you're gonna have a settings panel pop up, and these two look a little bit different. Although they essentially have all of the same content, they do look a little different. So what we wanna focus on specifically here is tags, categories, and that featured post setting that I talked about earlier. So if you do wanna add tags to your posts, you can add them here. If you wanna add categories, you can add them here. So you can see this one already has the category of portfolio. It's very small, but hopefully you can see that. And I can click the plus and I can create more or select more that I already have on the blog. So over in 7.1, our tags and categories are in a slightly different place. We need to go to options and you can see these two options here for tags and categories. So if you click into tags, you just type your tag in and click enter and that's going to add the tag to your post. Same with categories. You can see the categories that already exist on the blog and you can add more by typing in and clicking enter. And then just remember to actually select the category if that's what you want to select. Now for our featured post, you can see here in 7.1, it's in the same area, it says featured posts. I can toggle the featured post selection on and that's going to basically tell that summary block, okay, this is a featured post, show this one. Over in 7.0, the featured post selection is actually under the options tab across the top. Scroll down to the bottom, 
and you'll see featured post here so we can click that. I'm going to save that on both of my posts and now our posts will be set as featured posts. So they will be showing up in that summary block which is this one I've added here only if they're set to featured because I have this summary block only filtering the featured posts. Okay so we're back into the page now and let's edit the design settings. Let's say you've set all of your posts as featured that you want or you've categorized or tagged them accordingly and you've filtered them within this section of the summary block. We're now going to work on the design. So if we're going to make a slider, which this video is about, we'll want to click on the design tab and then click on what we have that says wall here. Yours might say something else, but it is a drop down menu and you can choose which design you want. For a slider, we're going to choose carousel. Now we can play around with these settings a bit more. I'm going to change my number of items to all the way up to 30. So essentially on a summary block, so for a summary block, the maximum items you can have is 30. And I always just turn it right up to 30. And then it's only going to display the ones I've filtered and the ones I want anyway. So it's going to do the most recent 30 of the featured posts or the filtered posts that you've chosen. Then we can choose the items per row. So right now we've got three, which looks pretty good. Or we could crank this up to four or five for the carousel. So you have a few options there. I'm going to leave mine at three. You can change the aspect ratio of your image. So lots of different croppings here for your image. I'm going to change mine to square. You can change the size of your text. You can change the alignment of the text. There is this little header featured text that always comes onto a summary block and I don't really know why. I prefer to remove this because there's no customization options for this. I remove this and if I do want to put a title above the summary block, I'll just use a regular text block above the block, kind of like I've got here. And I'll just position it how I want the title to look. I just don't find this header text to be very useful. Then you can toggle on and off elements. So we have the title on, the featured image, you can title on and off, the excerpt. So this is currently on and there's no excerpts showing. So that just tells me that there's no excerpt actually typed into the blog post. So if you do want to add an excerpt, you do that in the options area under the blog post settings where we just were. And then you can also toggle on and off the read more link. If you do have some metadata enabled, which is what we did over here in the content, you can choose where it is. So let me just put the category on there so you can see the category. And then under design, we can change where it is. So right now it's below content. We could change it to above title or below title. So a few things to play around with there. But that's essentially it. Remember, you can add this block anywhere around your site where you can add blocks and you can add this same block essentially as many times around your site as you want. So if you wanted to feature these posts and this carousel on multiple different pages, you can easily do that. It's a very automatic thing. So you don't have to manually add any of the blog content. It's going to pull that blog content automatically depending on what you've filtered and how you've set up this block. This can also open up a huge range of things around your site if you wanted to filter different categories in different blocks and if you wanted to combine lots of summary blocks onto one page to create a different blog design. The summary block is probably one of the most useful things that Squarespace ever came out with and it does have a little bit of design limitation but apart from that it is very functional and can really help while you're designing your site. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.